guys, it's Total Maxwell here, and welcome to another edition of the Perfect Journey. We're taking Dunfermline back up to the top flight, hopefully. You join us for the Scottish League Cup second round tie, our first match against an SPL side. I'm drawn against Partick Thistle, so we've got a great chance to do a live video, and hopefully we can test ourselves against a team two divisions higher than us, and hopefully you know we can be competitive. Um, if not, it shows us a long way to go, and this is the start of a, a massive, massive journey. Not a lot has happened in terms of ins and outs since you last joined us. In fact, if we take a little look at it, you'll see it's the exact same. However, we have had a small addition to our coaching staff, as you can see now. We don't have the great physios, but we have the best scouts, scouts in the league, and we have every best coach in the league for every division, so that's ideal as well. What we've lately brought in has been Andrew Leishman as a fitness coach. Still not great in terms of um, player instructions and stuff like that, but overall, it gets the job done. Um, we're going to be a lot better in the coaching side of things. Results-wise, since you last joined us, four, which would have been the victory over Brecon in the League Cup. We then faced him again in the league. We were again 1-2-1. One, one. Took the lead through Joe Cardo before Callum or Dice gave us a, a second. Andy Jackson pulled one back in the second half, but overall, it done the job, it gives a good start to the league, three points, and it showed you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult, not as much a stroll. As you can see, we then won 2 1 again against Cowden Beef. Two goals from Fazio El Bactui before Alden El Zabaldi, or Zabadi, got a goal, a former Hamilton Academical and Mother Youth player there. But I mean, good performance, as I say, we're still finding our feet at this level uh, to make sure everything's all hunky dory. The next up, we took on. Aloha, who are in the division above us in the Challenge Cup second round. They took the lead for Scott Hind, and that gave me a little bit of concern. Were we going to be good enough? Michael Moffat, who was in from the start instead of El Bactui, got himself on the score sheet. But then brought El Bactui on, the same with Ross Lyon and Mikel Anton Courier before El Bactui scored with four minutes to go. Unfortunately, this left the team pretty fatigued going into the Peterhead game, and I did want a full strength team against Partick. So I decided to rest most players. This gave a professional debut to Reese Duncan at right back. Uh, Sean Rooney played out of position at left back. Andy Gegan, a midfielder, played in centre back. And uh, Michael Payton, who is an attacking mid centre, played centre midfield. Also opportunities as well for Sean Brown and a start for Ross Lyon. We took the lead from Michael Payton in an absolutely phenomenal goal, which I'll show you in a second. Jordan Moore then made it 1 1 before El Bactui gave us a 2 1 lead at half time. 20 seconds after a change from a 4-4-2 to a 4-5-1, Jordan Moore scored, so I thought, okay, right, we'll try and attack. But Scott Ross made it 3-2 to the home side. Ross Lyon pulled one back for 3-3, three, three, where Jordan Moore completed his hat-trick at 4-3. We even brought on Calvin Miller, Lewis Mellon and Anton Courier. Couldn't score. I'm not too disappointed, as I say, it does put us third in the league, but it's early doors. Um, if we can keep being consistent at the business end of the season, get promoted. Uh, that's the main thing, but it's a good chance to test ourselves against a very strong Partick Thistle side. Let's see, we'll have a look now at the Michael Payton goal. As I say, it was something spectacular. So here it is, L back to A. Plays it in, Miller tries to get to it. Payton, bang, off the post, back off Graham Smith, and into the back of the net. Some finish from Michael Payton, and that gave us a good. Lead at a time, which unfortunately, as you can see, didn't last. But we are Partick Thistle at home now. We've picked the team. It's going to be Hutton, Talbot, Richards, Everton, Mackay, Bain, Cardo, Millen, McCabe, Lyon, Miller, and Elbeck Toy, with Murdoch, Gegan, Potter, Falkingham, Joe Thompson, Michael Payton, and Michael Moffat are on the bench. So hopefully, you know, it's a good performance. I'm going to try and control the play. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Partick are only missing. Christy Elliott through injury and Stuart Bannigan via suspension. But they're still going to light up 4 2 3 1. Um, interesting, they've got Craig Whiten. Is that a permanent deal? Nope, they've got him in loan from Dundee. Uh, other players that are featuring youngsters would be like so Declan McDade. I think it's Declan. Yep, Declan McDade. Uh, and a chance for this guy. I'm not too sure who this guy is. Dara Lenahan. Me, oh, they've loaned him in from Blackburn. Oh. So it's a bit of interesting that they've uh, rested people like Sean Walsh, 
uh, Osman as well, and of course Paul Pogba's brother Matthias is on the bench, but we'll see. Uh, Sandy Clark will go with that. Nobody really has any expectations here. The board wanted us to get to this round. It just gives us an indication, you know, um, how much we still need to improve. You know, is this going to be an easy challenge, or just because we've got a, a decent-sized club that uh, we think we're there already? Because I would say Partick and Dunfermline are probably similar-sized clubs. It's just one is two divisions higher than the other. But uh, we'll see. You know, I think once we get the proper player recruitment, uh, we'll be fine. But you know, we need, we're only as good as the league we're in, so we have to keep making sure we're improving uh, and maybe get promoted to the first division first and then the Premier League eventually. And that's not a great start against our Premier League side. Quality shines through there as Declan McDade gets himself on the score sheet. A lovely move from Partick there. Gary Fraser into Mahoney. Declan McDade, one touch. Defender can't get near him and by the goalkeeper. David Hutton and in the back of the net, but as you can see, the attendance is a lot bigger than the previous video we saw where it was quite empty. Just hope we can give a good performance here. Here's McCabe looking for Joe Cardo, 1 1, and the League One side are right back in it. Joe Cardo there with the finish. I wouldn't say it's a well worked set play, it's actually a poor ball in that just happened to fall at the feet of Joe Cardo. One touch control, second touch into the back of the net, giving Thomas Cherney absolutely no chance. So that's good, that's positive, we're showing you know, we could do something here. Uh, and we lose L back to A, that's not good. Our best goal for it. Potential head injury, hopefully that's nothing too major. And we'll shove on Michael Moffat to replace him. Say to Michael, um, you know, get faith in you, make a difference. You know, if you can put the ball in the back of the net, that is ultimately making the, the biggest difference possible. As I say, we'll just need to wait and see. As I say, there's obviously a big difference in class here. Like, that's why I want to try and get far in the cup competitions, because you, you never know how good you actually are as a lower league team. Like even the Challenge Cup, they probably won't win it, but if we can play against Rangers, if we can play against Hibs, it's, it's a great test of our character to see how good we are. And especially if we can get through this and we draw Rangers or Celtic, if, they go, if, if Rangers go through in the next round. I mean, it's, it's a potential money spinner as well, but here's Dumbuya. It's a ball in for Craig Whiten. And he's never going to score an easier goal than that. Absolutely no tackle even attempted there. Or any challenge by, um, I think it's Richard Zevert, I think the boy's name is. Ball in there for the defender. Yep, he's completely lost him. And Craig Whiten, as I say, thank you, please. A guy who, quite frankly, is one of the better youngsters uh, from Scotland in the game. Just needs the right opportunity and the right amount of game time. Um, as I say, if he doesn't get played in this game, he turns out pretty poor. But if you play him. You know, he can become a starter for the national team. That's how big the potential is. Uh, one change is going to be Miller coming off for Michael Payton. I'll drop Payton back into midfield, play him as a shadow striker. As I say, for those of you who followed my Hereford save in last year's FM on Twitch, you'll remember he was a key part in the conference and in League 2 before we decided, ah, uh, maybe it's a state too high for him. Anyway, ball in. Here's Richard Everton. Away by McDade. Bain, you better get to this, I swear to God, if he beats you at this. Jamie Bain, looks plays it direct, looking for Peyton. Well won by McCabe, here's Lyon. Moffat, he's got a play through for Peyton. It could have been 2-2, two two, but it's a good save from Thomas Shelney. And unfortunately not on this occasion. McCabe with the ball in. And Richard Everton, pretty poor there. He's not ideally my first choice defender. I'd obviously want to play for dice, but with his injury... It's not to be. Um, I think if we do get promoted, then defence will be a massive place we'll be looking to recruit, especially Mackay. Go we'll back to St. Johnson. Ross Lyon coming off then for a third change, and it will be Joe Thompson. It's that way you don't want to change too much because if you go too attacking, you risk yourself going out of the tie completely. So we'll probably just go um, encourage them for five minutes, get to 75, then go attacking, and then gets to about 80, 85, then that's when we go. For the overload, so time to overload it and time to just say to the guys passionately. In fact, we'll leave it team talk in a minute so the team talk actually goes through and everybody listens to it because sometimes you'll give a team talk to one guy if it's too soon after a previous one. I think something completely do is here with no other highlights unless Moffat can make something happen here, though, with it being the last minute. I think it's going to be a, a big disappointment, but overall. Losing 2-1 to Partick isn't too bad. It means we're not there yet, but 
if we can recruit correctly and we can maybe change our style a little bit, there's definitely a chance we can get ourselves up to the level of an SPL side within two seasons. Because you forget that, we've got two years to get to that level um, as a Partick side, sitting in fifth in the table as well. So nothing to be completely upset about. I say it's disappointing we lose he'll back to for two weeks, but hopefully he'll be back down the line. Um, probably back, I would say, for the big game against Ayr on the 12th. And as you can see, we drew non-league Borough Rangers in the Challenge Cup third round. So there's a high chance we could be going to the semi-finals of that. So that'll be quite fun as well down the line. A quick look at the finances. 204k, so that gives a bit of money. Uh, we have lost a bit of money because of the Lewis Milne deal. But I feel like that's something that will help us. You know, over, over time, because I think we can sell them on for good money, but we will be looking to sell at least one player um, at the end of the season for money. Hopefully big money. Well, big money at this level is 500k, but I deal with that. But that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a disappointing result, but as a team two levels higher than us, hopefully now we can get back to league business, get a bit of form about us, and then we'll be hopefully strolling the league championship the next time we join us. But apart from that, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the old like button. If you get any comments, leave them in the comments section below. How you find the series so far? Um, are you happy with my choices on Fairmont? Let me know your general thoughts, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember to check out the hashtag on Twitter. We are the community. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.